Chill. How many months they have not paid your salary? Twelve months. Twelve yes. months. Yes. Guys, can you imagine who you have here to? I'm a cow. I'm a cow. Lakini sometimes huwa wanakaa karibu miezi karibu miezi 12 bila kulipo mshahara. Sasa wakati anaulizia mshahara, wanamwambia aende kwa mzee. Hi family, welcome to the Luck Mom's channel. My name is the Luck Mom Deborah Yanchoka. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia and a great awareness of what happens in the Middle East. Um I just want to talk about salary because I have seen one lady from Philippines who usually works for one year then get paid so she had worked for three years and now uh, her employer in Saudi Arabia has her money of 12 months that is one year and I'm so worried I just want to create this awareness that uh, once you you do your work just get paid at the end of the month so this lady has not been paid for 12 months and now the employer is telling her that she should go home first once she comes back that is when she'll get paid i'm just worried that how can she go home without money then come back come back for the same money that is what keeps me worried because uh, she also has a family that maybe depends on her and she has to take something home for the family. But I'm worried that she she has not been paid and we don't know if she will ever be paid. Anyway, if your employer owes you, let it not be more than two months because that is a lot of money. If your employer owes you for one year that is 12 months and it means it's going to be hard for you to get your right so uh, I'm just worried I just want to share this clip of this uh, Philippine maid you just listen to what she's saying and you can see that she's just worried how many months they have not paid your salary 12 months 12 Mm. Guys, can you imagine who you are here to? I'm a cow. I'm a cow. Miakatano. Lakini, sometimes you are a car. Karibu, miss. Karibu, miss. Kumna bili. Bila kulipo mshara. Sasa, wakati ya naulizia mshara. Wana muambia ende kwa mze. Kwa mwenye nyumba. Na mwenye alimuandika. Ni mwenye nyumba ndio lakini sasa mshahara wakati anakuja anatuma kwa mama yai nyumba na inakuwa ni mburu tano so imefika mahali wakati amemaliza miaka tano juizi mezingine walikuwa akimaliza mwaka wanamlipa wanamaliza mwaka wanamlipa lakini sasa hivi wamemwambia kwamba aende nyumbani alafu atarudi alipo hizi miezi zingine zenye zimebaki zote miezi mbili alipo mshahara so anahitaji no need of working without pay. That's what we need to understand. Because uh, it is going to be a burden on your side and a burden on your employer too. Because that money is a lot. So just listen to what this lady is saying.